Well, that's a pretty good weapon, actually. I'll take that. Every dial so is pretty doo-doo, so you get to keep that for yourself. Uh, no more bandages right now. No. Okay, let's uh, drop one of these on me, top myself. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Day. I'm your host, Birdman. This guy right here waving at you is indeed Falcon69. Now, today we got some news to talk about. The developers actually had another one of their little, um, oh, uh, who is this guy? Toxic Spitter, of course it would be you. I'm over here in case you're wondering at a military drop event, because the bird is almost done with his generator. You know how many wrenches I'm missing? I'm missing four wrenches, man. Which, the worst case scenario means I need to do two bunker runs, best case scenario means only one more, and I'm somehow lucky and I get a wrench from here, so come on, dog. Give me a wrench from here. I'm not sure if wrenches show up in the military drops, but... Random things show up here, so if it gives me a wrench, I would be a very, very happy dude. No, no wrench. No wrench. We got a gun at least. You, you, you can't even give me a gun. It's fully... Oh, that deer scared me right there. Just <laughs> showed up out of nowhere. You can't even give me a gun. It's like almost completely filled up. No, we got to give you one that's like, you know, halfway used up already. Let me put... Oh, uh, uh. Fast bite here. You kind of freaked me out a little bit, man. I'm on edge. You know why I'm on edge? Because even though we're going to talk about some news... We're going over to the red zone right now, and we're going to be hunting some NPC players. So I'm a little bit on edge because we have a lot of scary stuff to do. Let me just put all the stuff in here for now because I'm going to use that. And I guess that's fine. Cool, that'll be my carrying potential. Let's get on out of here. I'm leaving you behind, Bike. I'm sorry to say. We're going over to a red zone right now to hunt some NPCs because... In the past, when I've actually been in the red zone area, the NPCs here... Should I drive here? I'm going to drive here. I'm going to drive here just because if I have to leave, if a red one shows up, I need to drive my bike away. Because I don't have enough energy right now. I mean, I could use some coins, I guess, for that, but whatever. Um, I'm coming down here because I'm going to hunt some NPCs. Because in the past, I've actually killed a couple of NPCs in the red areas, and they've dropped some really rare stuff. As a matter of fact, about like maybe a couple of days ago, I killed like two of them, and one of them dropped the connector rod, and the other one actually dropped like a... What was the other thing that dropped? It wasn't a wrench, I would have been so happy if that was the case, but it was another rare item that we need for building some of the more advanced stuff, so killing the NPCs here can be pretty useful. Now, I'm coming in here completely loaded up, to some degree, I got some good weapons on. More than likely we'll be rushed right now, so this will be good, I got some medkits, I got the SWAT gear. Now, the only thing that could be a problem here will be the big one. If he shows up, then we have to book it to reset, unfortunately. But let's get in here. So anyway, meanwhile we do this. Uh, I want to talk about the news that I read about today. So, one of the big things that people asked the developers this time around was if there's going to be a place for us to be able... Oh, look at that. I just barely entered. I'm being rushed already. One of the things that they asked the developers was if there's going to be a place for us to be able to trade items with other people. Essentially, a social hub map where you could go talk to other people, trade items, and not be attacked by other people. Oh, of course, it would be the stupid abomination here all the time. All the time. You guys never learn, do you? Never learn. You can't even do a little jump attack on me because I'm too fast for you. I'm just too fast for you, buddy. There you go. Look, you lost your head. You lost, you lost something off of your body. It was your head, though, wasn't it? I'll take that here for now because we don't know what we're going to use that for down the line. But there's going to essentially be a map they'll be adding where you could go talk to other people and also trade items, which I think is an amazing idea because what have we always talked about in this game? Especially when it comes to like building a shopper. Some of us had like a ton of forks, some of us had a ton of um, gas tanks, and we could never really find what we needed. But if they add like a trade feature, it'll be pretty cool because we can help each other out. Now, when it comes down to that though, what's kind of weird about it too is that I'm not entirely sure how if they add a trade function it'll work out. Because certain items have more value than other stuff, right? And technically speaking, the game could be very easy if like say, I have... Oh, this guy again? Ugh. And we got a spitter too. Let me just reset this really quickly. I think it'd be very unfair, like if, for instance, I have a gas tank, an extra one, right? And I'm going to trade with you for one berry. Because there's got to be, like, I guess, like some sort of limitation based on the trading, right? Because otherwise, everybody will have every single item and we won't have to farm anymore. Because if people are nice enough, they can give you a really rare item for something really cheap. So, you know, I could trade, like, a rubber part away for, like, a chopper fork or, like, maybe... A rubber part for like, I don't know, a modified weapon. So what's kind of intriguing about that is that if they do add that trade feature, how would it be regulated? Because otherwise it feels like 
it could really take away the farming aspect of the game, if you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, if people want to be nice to each other and just give stuff away, that's fine too, but... I wouldn't be surprised if they add, like, some sort of, like, trade feature that also requires, like, certain points or whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Well, what are you guys doing, huh? Okay. Hey, we're doing this again, are we? <laughs> you just killed your friend, you dingus. You killed your friend. I saw it. I saw it, alright. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is what I meant about the red zone now. I told you guys, it is so much more difficult because you get completely overwhelmed by spawns now. It's just so crazy. But again, we're here for the NPCs, so that's fine. Now, the other thing they mentioned as well with the developer as the developers thing was... Remember that car in our home base that's just there taking up space and... I mean, a couple of you guys told me you use it for storing items, but in reality, in that car, you could only store like eight items. Who's this? We a spitter. Okay. Let's see you with the spitter here. In that truck, you only store eight items. And in reality, all it does, it kind of hinders your building because it takes up a lot of room around that we can build. So they mentioned in the asset developers thing, they're also going to re... There's going to be a chance for us to remove the pickup truck as well, which is great. That makes me very, very happy, especially when it comes to building down the line. Although building nowadays is a bit more annoying because obviously the level three walls are so freaking ridiculous to make. Now, normally I avoid enemies like when I'm farming, but since we're looking for NPCs, I want to make sure that we can run freely without having to worry too much about stuff. So I want to make sure that everything is cleared here. I could just stand around and just wait for them to come to me as well. Let me go ahead and put this on. And let me go ahead and not be able to move for a second for some reason. Okay. Scary. Alright, let's continue moving down here right now. We haven't seen one single chest, have we? There's the oak tree up there, but I'm not here to farm for that. Mmm, I'm just looking for the NPCs to show up. Of course, and I'm ever, when I'm looking for them, they never show up. When I'm over here farming legitimately, it's kind of like, oh, well, now I'm going to show up. You know, what if I pick something up randomly to give them the idea that I am farming? Let's pick up some berries for... Here we go, we have... Uh, of course, an abomination after him. Let's just shoot him down. Let's just shoot him down. I ain't gonna spend any time with you, my friend. Let's have these berries here. Look, guys, I'm farming. Come after me. Falcon's doing some farming. He's busy stealing your items. I know you want to come after me now. I know you do. Let's go find a chest here really quickly, meanwhile. Um, so... Basically, the car that's in our home base is going to be given a chance to be removed. Another freaking spitter. Yeah, I really don't like having to shoot you down, but I don't have the other weapon equipped, and I want to have my medkits equipped because if we get caught up with a Ventoris guy, we're going to need those medkits in order to survive that guy. Mm, what about here? Another fast biter. Let's see if I can do a quick switch here. Don't show up right now. Don't you dare show up right now. I got to kill this guy and then switch back to my long-range weapon. Cool. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we're fine. Oh, here's the first chest. Perfect. Oh, another one up there, too. All right, we got two two dudes coming after me. Spitters? Uh. Oh, the bloater is close. Well, we got an abomination that's really close. How about that? Are they, they're all spitters. Ah, oh, freaking hell. I was hoping for no spitters so I could just get an NPC. Do your spit. <laughs> you hit the abomination. What a dingus. All right, let's take that. What about you? Just rope? That's fine. Okay, let's go back to my chest here. Now, the other thing they talked about, too, is... This one might not be too important to a lot of you guys, but I guess it could be kind of important for the game to grow in general. They talked about porting the game over to the PS4. Ooh, Jack Daniels. I guess I'll take all that here meanwhile. They're, they talked about importing the game over to the PS4. And other consoles, like maybe the Xbox One. But if they do that, just keep in mind, that won't happen for a very long time, because obviously the first plan is to get the game completed first and foremost, right? I mean, you can't be adding the game to other ports, or because, you know, it takes a while to do that. It's not a matter of just picking up your game and being like, oh, well, it's on the PS4 now. You actually have to code, because obviously the coding for all these games is different based on the platform it's at, right? So they can't just be like, well, I'm going to go ahead and make this game now on the PS4, because that requires an entire different, you know, coding for that. So... That does mean for a fact, at least for me, that that won't happen anytime soon, because if they start working on that now, it'll only delay the game ever releasing completely for us on on mobile devices. Or at least for me on the PC, because I'm playing on the PC, but not officially a PC game, you know, I just emulate it here. But going being on the PS4 it would do a lot of wonders for the game, because again, it's an entire new base for the game coming in. And what's good about that is that there's more people playing, 
than multiplayer whenever that's added. Should be a lot more fun with a ton of people playing, obviously. Um, is that gonna be an abomination or a bloater? I think that's actually a bloater. We have somebody coming after me. Who is this? Is that an NPC or no? No, another freaking spitter. Look at this. Not one single NPC, and I, I kid you not, when I'm over here farming legitimately, they show up non-stop. When I'm actually looking for them, they're not here to be seen. And it's not even a matter that I'm not picking up stuff, because I am picking up stuff too. Let's eat this over here. And let's get rid of this if we can. Okay. And let's sneak up on this uh, bloater here. What are the chances that one shows up now that I'm fighting a bloater? Pretty high, I would say. Oh, another, there's another chest over there too, so that'll be four right now, straight up. Let's get you out of the way. You're dead. NPCs, I'm opening up a chest. Come out here. No? I'm gonna show up, they're cowards. Nothing but cowards. We got four of them already? Oh, five, wow. So we went through the entire... Another freaking spitter? We went through the entire... Oh. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Ta freaking hell! Another one of you! Look, dog. I don't really care about you guys right now. I'm looking for... Your, your friends. Your NPC friends who... Who are big jerks all the time. Look at this. Not a single one. I bet you anything at this point that we're going to go through the entire chest, not one's going to show up, and then nothing's going to show up. I have to leave and come back again or something. Ooh, a handgun. That's pretty gnarly. I kind of want that handgun, but I'm out of room, too. Um, let's see. Well, I got a ton. I got a ton of you back home, so you could go away. And I got a ton of you back home, you could go away. And a ton of you back home, go away. I'll probably just eat that food really quickly, too. Top myself off. Get rid of you. Okay, that's good. Let's come over here and grab this gun. Pretty good stuff with the red zone too on occasion, so that's cool over here. Alrighty. Now, who is this fellow right here? That I'm about to creep up on. Another fast biter? That's fine. You're about to lose your head, buddy. Oh, here we go. Is somebody coming at me? It could be, it could be an NPC. But it's not. It's a freaking spit. <laughs> what are the odds, man? Look at this. Not one single NPC the entire map, and this is the last MP this is the last box too. Normally when you go through the entire boxes you just stop spawning. And this is booty. And this is complete bootiness, man. Look at that. Not a single one of them. I'm even wearing good gear. Normally when you have like better gear, like the harder the NPC spawns too, that's what I've heard, but nothing one not one single one of them spawned here. So let's see about resetting this really quickly. And maybe then I could hopefully make it happen. I do got my motorcycle here, so let's go and just, uh, drive up here. I'm using up fuel doing this, but that's fine. And then we'll just run back over here. That should reset. I'm gonna give this one more try here because I really want to get one of these NPCs on camera. But before we book, let's also go ahead and make these bandages right now. Keep us nice and healthy. Got a lot of these fabrics here, which is a good thing. And how are we looking here? We got the medkit still. That's nice. We got this too. Um, get drink that. Just get rid of that here. And my weapons will be here. Let me get my weapons closer because if I have to do like a quick change, it's probably best for them to be really nearby. That's fine. That'll do. Okay. Let's see if this time they show up. If they don't, well, as always, I tried, but they just weren't cooperating with me here today. All right. I think that's basically all the news, too, that I wanted to talk about. It was like a, a very... Oh. Spitter. I'm gonna go in there and just kill everything. How about that? Let's let's call the NPCs out by making all the noise in the world. Alright, let's just knock everybody out. Bring it, baby. Oh, look at that. Two oak trees right there together. I I I got three oak trees. What? I've never seen three in this area. I've only seen two before. Not three. And I'm sorry that was not a hit, my friend. Let's be honest here, okay? I was way out of your range by then. Who do we got here? Another spitter, of course. Of course. And over here, we probably have what I would say. That's a bloater because he would have aggroed on me if it was an abomination. All right, here's another dude coming at me. Come on. Another freaking spitter. Another freaking spitter, man. Let me take this for some more bandages. Look, guys, I'm in my inventory making bandages. Want to come out now? No? What if I pick a berry? What if I pick this berry here and use it? I'm in my inventory. You want to... Ah! Oh, Jesus! 
Oh god, okay, you saw that, that, you saw how that spawned literally next to me? There was nothing on the map when I went into the inventory and suddenly it's like right next to me. It's like, come on. We have a teleporting rabbit wolf now. That's scary, man. You guys shouldn't be able to teleport, you freaking wolfmen. That should be another bloater? Really? Okay, let's, uh, huh. Do I have time for this? No, I don't got time for it. It's being ambushed by... Oh, it's an NPC. Of course, now you show up, huh? Well, let's just duke it out with this guy. Luckily, he doesn't have a gun, so this should be fairly easy for us. We have some mechas equipped. Spitter. Of course. I'm busy, so you show up. No surprise there. What do you have on you? Well, that's a pretty good weapon, actually. I'll take that. Every time, so is pretty doo-doo, so you get to keep that for yourself. Uh, no more bandages right now. No. Okay, let's, uh, drop... One of these zombies taught myself... Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> it just... It scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, man. Do you see how... Do you see how BS that's been? Not the one, but two enemies teleported next to me while I was in the inv inventory, and one of them was a rabbit wolf, which is okay. The other was a big one. Literally spawned next to me. That guy was not on the map when I went into the menu. There was nothing shaking. There was no screen shaking. And suddenly he shows up. Oh, good God almighty, my heart hurts right now. <laughs> my heart is in a lot of pain. <laughs> Oh, thank God for this, um, SWAT gear, huh? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I tried. We got at least one NPC on camera. Unfortunately, it was a terrible one that only had to offer was a shovel. But at least we'll wrap it up over here with a chopper event. With any luck, it'll be the third one that I haven't seen yet, apparently, because I've already seen two. But we're, we're still missing a third one. This is the one... What is this? Why are you shirtless, dude? Is this deer hunting again or what? Oh, it's probably deer hunting again. Yeah, it's deer hunting again. Alrighty, well, let's see what's happening. Keep... Excuse me? Did you just give me the finger? How do you like it, huh, you jerk? Huh? Huh? How do you like it? Huh? What about, what about your friends over here, huh? Hey. You saw what your friend did? Huh? I can see you? Yeah, I can see you too. What about it? Huh? You like that? Alright, that's that's because your friend over there gave me the finger too, so all of you guys are enemies for me now, and you know what? You're all gonna die a vicious dead here, Mr. Skull Crusher Man. Start off with you. Start off with blasting you in the back. Oh yeah, oh. Yeah, you're you're really tough. Oh, sorry, dear. <laughs> I wasn't trying to kill you. Look at this guy over here. He thinks he has a chance. He thinks he has a chance. Why why does he look a bit faster than me, even though I got like presumably faster shoes than he does? And the SWAT gear boots are a bit faster than the military ones, should they not be? Whatever. Bring it on down, my friend. That's what you get for being a bit too fast for your own good. All that equipment's about to break, but I will indeed take that. And I should probably take this for the fuel as well, since we ended up using a little bit of fuel trying to find those NPCs in the red zone. Oh man, I'm very disappointed, man. I was hoping that we could actually get a rare NPC in the red zone. Oh, it's a really hard place to survive now with all the constant, you know, like, spawns, though. But if you... Get lucky, one of the NPCs can indeed show up with some rare stuff, and that's where I've gotten a couple of connector rods in the past. Oh yeah, my, my thing's very loaded, isn't it? Uh, let's be honest here, I really don't need a lot of you back home. I have a ton of you back home, and I got a t ton of, of tape back home as well. And same with the screws. And same with you. Okay, so let me take this handgun here. No green paint? I just need one green paint, by the way, for the military... Thing. Well, let's see if they have some on their bikes themselves. Let's see what you got for me. Red. Or not red, but blue. I'm sorry, I'm colorblind suddenly. The Birdman suddenly colorblind. Uh, blue and a gas mask. That's pretty cool. I'll take that gas mask. And what about you? Gimme green, gimme green, gimme green. No green, but a full set of, um, or not a full set, but at least a completely 100% pair of booties. Not too bad. Not too bad. I also want that fuel, too, though. So let's put some stuff away here really quickly. I guess we'll go handguns. Put all the handguns in here, I guess. Now, you have to be completely drunk. I'm surprised I don't have to pee right now, considering how much we just drank. And let's, um, top it off like so. And top it off like so. 
And what I'll do is we should have enough to, like, fill ourselves back up and take the rest of it afterwards, so... This should be pretty good. I love the fact you can pillage the, the gas from the, um, other chopper events, because it really helps you out when it comes to, like, building up your food supply. So you have to worry too much about having to constantly find fuel cans on the bunker runs. So it's actually pretty cool. I really do love that feature. Pour that all on. There you go. It's pretty good. Okay. It's almost topped me off completely here. Now, is there anything else here that I left behind? I think I left the gas mask behind. I will take that. I guess I'll take this over here. I'm missing one green paint for the military camel. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I'm talking about it. I guess I haven't mentioned it, have I? But the military camel won the vote. Uh, a lot of people were mentioning as well to go for the... Mm, I guess we'll do that. Do that and do that. A lot of people were asking... Uh, voted for the... The zombie one, which is right over here. You see this bad boy right here? Um, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's it's alright. But a lot more people did vote for the military one, so we're gonna go with that one instead. My gun's about to break. Should I just leave that behind for something else? Eh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. How about... How about before we leave, since we're nearby, we take one more trip to the red zone? <laughs> I really want to get a rare NPC for us, man. I'll give it a try. I'm nearby anyway. I should be able to just run there, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a try. One more try. Maybe the, the big one's gone. This is about to break, though, so we are going to have to swap out. Unfortunately, I can't really carry anything else. It's the only big problem here. So if he shows up, we got to run out. And if my weapon breaks, we have to run out and switch, too. So let's see if this time we luck out. Don't think I drove here. I actually ran here, but okay. There we go. We have our first spitter as usual. Big surprise there. We just need one shot. Uh, We might as well break you or it too, huh? Get out of here, rabbit wolf. Okay. We're good. Put some heals on. Okay. Let's go through the map. It's a spitter again. Come on, NPCs. This is your last chance, buddies. Wow, that rabbit wolf was hauling. Did you see that map right there? That guy was hauling ass towards me. It was actually pretty ridiculous how fast he was coming right at me. All right, I'm going to go into a, an inventory thing here. So they decide to show up. They love doing that here. We have another box up there as well. Come on, baby. Nothing that I want. Second box. It's a spitter, unfortunately. Ah, spitters, come on. NPCs, please. Alrighty guys, so long story short, um, no NPC showed up. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. I tried, I was hoping that we could actually get some pretty cool NPC hunts here happening, but we only got one. It was due with a shovel, and then obviously the highlight here is that the big one scared the bejesus out of me. So I hope you enjoyed it because I honestly lost a couple of years from my life there. So th thanks a lot for big one for the, probably the spookiest scare I've had this entire October. I guess it works out pretty fine, right? But there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I am four, four wrenches away from the generator. So once that is done, ah, oh, it'll be sweet, sweet living up here. Living up here for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.